Hi guys, I just want you to know that now you can join my channel uh, on your PC or your phone. Uh, you would click the join button and you can scroll and you can join for $9.99 each month and get early access to all videos. And you can also um, get one question answered by me every month. Um, and you'll get access to all the extendeds. There is also another tier uh, for $14.99. Uh, you will get two questions answered every month and access to uh, all the extended readings and early access to just all videos. So take advantage now. Uh, it's here for you. Thank you. Take care. reading for you thank you for being here and thank you for liking sharing commenting and subscribing to the channel it means a lot please continue to do so all links are below if you need to get in contact with me let's get into it thank you god for blessing the aquarius with a clear concise message from you all right so aquarius when i was shuffling off camera what i heard is i can't get over you or i can't get you out of my mind something like that all right let's see what's going on for the aquarius here what is the what is the situation? What is what do the cards want to tell Aquarius? The Seven of Pentacles, yeah, it's like somebody's in a very restrictive place. Like you and somebody, you know, there's not a lot of talking, not a lot of activity between the two of you. Because there needs to be maturity, growth. It's like somebody feels like the relationship isn't over. They're just frustrated with how things are going. Or maybe what they did or what they didn't do. Um, maybe they're they're wondering if there will be a return. Maybe even a return of you into their life or you wanting if they'll return to you. Let's see. What else is going on? Yeah, the death card. So it says that maybe there was an ending to a relationship. But sometimes a death card can indicate ending and then a reemergence here also. Um, a break or a pause in a relationship. It says that something needs to end and go to, from one dynamic to the next. So maybe when you come back together, it'll be different. Uh, could be dealing with a Scorpio. Let's see what else is going on here for my Aquarius. What's happening for the Aquarius here? There could be a feminine energy that ended the relationship or at least put distance between the relationship. The Page of Swords. It's either you or the other person spying, uh, inquiring about, wanting to get more information about what the other is doing. This could even be, you know, you being the subject of gossip right now, Aquarius, or vice versa. Your person is, or your person is gossiping about you to other people. Uh, the Page of Swords, also, this could even be someone looking at tarot card readings. There's someone trying to gain knowledge, information about, you know. This also is someone refraining from a lot of activity, a lot of communication, because if we over-communicate with one another, it turns into arguments. So let's just keep it real light you know real yes no maybe you know. what's going on for the aquarius right now yeah the strength card we got somebody holding back maybe to um, or due to the fact that there is lack of trust you don't trust them they don't trust you for whatever reason the trust issues may be different for each party it's not that you cheated or um or that they cheated but it might be trust in terms of i don't trust you with my heart because what you have done is ghosted me left me i spilled my heart out to you you said nothing whatever it may be but there's trust issues but there's also somebody holding back maintaining um the level of love devotion that they have for you to themselves or this is what you're doing aquarius or the both of you are doing it could be a shared energy here um, there could be lack of intimacy in the relationship, not sex, but intimacy, vulnerability, closeness, being able to um, bear your soul with this person. Definitely because somebody just doesn't trust. Like they feel like if I let this person get to that place, you know, if I, if I allow myself to be vulnerable or let them get to that place in my heart, they'll trample all over it once again. Is here what I'm hearing once again. Um, card that fell onto the floor yeah the page of cups here it's like somebody wants to give you a message a good news message maybe even a surprise message maybe even a message that comes in it is out of the blue and it's you know it's not expected maybe from this person it's like somebody wants to be more romantic with you 
or uh, do something with you, maybe even take you out. They just want to tell you exactly how they feel about you. What you do with the information is what you do with it. Let's see. Where's the advice for Aquarius in terms of this reading? Advice for Aquarius. Advice for Aquarius. Somebody could be showing up in your dreams um, or trying to penetrate your dreams here. Or someone sees you as a dream person. They see you as very beautiful, um, dynamic, young, uh, fruitful. Uh, uh, so they see you as fertile. Okay. Um, advice. The Page of Wands. Uh, make sure that if you do reconcile with someone or that you do let someone do into your life, it doesn't fizzle out just as soon as it starts. Um, make sure that something is grounding the relationship. Like, is it grounded in something? Maybe wait a while before you have sex with them. They get to know them. I don't know what you need to do to ground it. Look up grounding techniques. I don't know. But you need to make sure that this doesn't come in and it's, it's a whirlwind and then it just like, poof, it's gone. You know? Unless you want it to be like that, yeah. It, it, somebody is definitely desiring you. The high priestess fell out onto the floor. So this could be an energy where you're not close to them. It could be a Cancer. Uh, it could be a Piscean person. Somebody is definitely desiring you. They put you above all the other women or the men in their life. They feel like the sex is, you know, dynamic or it's healing. They feel they know that a decision needs to be made, and it might need to be made on your part, Aquarius. Or maybe the other person has to make a decision about allowing you back into their life. But a decision needs to be made. This is somebody who's comfortable in their, in the, you know, with themselves, by themselves also. It could be a woman that lives alone. could be a salon owner, shop owner. This is what you aspire to be. This is what you may be going after right now. With the Page of Wands and the High Priestess, some of you could do work from home. You could do... Um, maybe tarot card readings, esoteric work, or some energy type work here, um, where you want to get into doing more of that. Um, I heard flexibility, you know, with your time, or you know, literally, you know, physically being flexible. Or maybe this is what you do. Um, let's see what else do we have. It's definitely somebody wanting to reconcile with you. They really want you to make the decision to come back. They could even be trying to manifest you back. Again, showing up in your dream. I don't see astral projection or anyone like moving towards you like that, but they could be. This is somebody who feels like, you're uh, again, your sex is healing. Um, he, okay, healing water. All right, all right. We'll get out of here. Tell them it's like somebody really doesn't want to release the burden of being either the macho man or the macho woman or whatever. Somebody really needs to relinquish that and really uh, speak exactly how they feel with the Ten of Wands. You know, it's becoming burdensome, burdensome for them or, and then in turn makes the relationship toxic, unhealthy because there's one, it's one-sided. It's one person expressing how they feel and the other person is holding back and hiding under the cloak of, you know, um, this will be toxic masculinity. Masculinity is not a bad thing, but when it's toxic in terms of it, it, it uh, stagnating growth, you know, that's when it's toxic, okay? So someone could be hiding under that cloak of toxic masculinity just because they are afraid. Wow, okay, make it up. The emperor comes out. It's like somebody just wants to be in a stern, you know, firm uh, type of energy where I'm, you know, I'm just not getting, but... It's also not lending towards a relationship um, growing. It, it's also not getting them what they want. Yeah, the Nine of Pentacles. It could be that they want this Nine of Pentacles, a woman or a man. It's like somebody's being too firm to the point where they're about to miss out on something. Somebody just keeps people outside their heart space because they feel comfortable doing so. Maybe even their home or the home could be synonymous with the heart also. It's just like somebody, it's just like when a relationship gets too close, you know, too close, they, they bail, they, they want to leave, or they put space in between the person. They don't want it to be intimate. This is somebody who was also, you know, constantly thinking about you, stuck in thought about you. I can't get you off my mind is what we were hearing, you know, when I was uh, shuffling off camera, that's how I opened the reading. It's like someone feels like, you know, um, this is the era of being good natured. This is what being good natured and, you know, open and uh, allowing for someone to be in your heart space this is what it gets you it gets you um entrapment in your mind so it's just like somebody just doesn't want to you know release 
the wall. Also, somebody did allow you to penetrate their heart and now they can't get you off of their mind. And they feel like this is the worst thing ever. It's like the, you dealing with the energy that wanted just wanted to go through life without feeling. Not deeply, anyhow. I can feel surface level, but I don't want to feel deeply. There's somebody who feels deeply for you. This is also someone who's giving up, you know, agency in terms of I'm not doing anything to allow. I'm not doing anything to make this person come back. I'm not doing anything. I'm not doing anything. I'm just going to, you know, if if this person comes back, they come back on their own, you know, under their own, you know, pretense. They come back just because. This is somebody who has just, um, sorry, um, this is somebody who's longing for you and you may even be longing for them, but neither of you do anything to actually restore the relationship. For whatever reason, I don't know, you know, this is, um. Aquarius, you may feel like I'm not going to this person and making amends and bringing the relationship back together because I have always done that. And then number two, again, this is the air of being good natured. If I'm, if I show them goodness, if I show them, you know, um, mercy and grace, and I do this again, I'm just going to get trampled on. And your person may even feel like, oh, I can't allow the Aquarius to know that I love them, like them so much because then they will trample on me. So the both of you are in a place of, you know, just um, in your respective corners, hoping and wishing that the other person comes. You know, hoping and wishing the will of fortune that somebody changes their mind, changes their position, that there's some chance meeting, um, that the universe will do something, that destiny will take its course. Psychic abilities are being heightened, especially in terms of the opposite sex. You know, you can read or pick up on this person's thoughts or energy or emotions, and they can do the same with you. Um, it's because you guys are connected, and but you're also the stubborn energy. The Five of Pentacles. Somebody could feel neglected, ignored, maybe even used. Somebody felt used, or felt like they got used or abused. People who are strong in their self worth can never be used. Okay. If you know how much you can offer, can give to any person or to any proverbial table, that you can never be used because you know that, you know, too much whom is given, much is required. So if you have more than, you know that something is going to be asked of you or required of you. But the beauty of it is you get to draw the line. I'll give this much and that is all. So you can never be used. Just know that, you know, if you have $10 million and then you sit at a table who have of people who only have a few thousand dollars and you guys are trying to get something accomplished, guess who's going to have to put in the bulk of the money? Right. You get so, And you can never be used going into something knowing that, right? And we can take money out of the equation. Let's just say um, your intellect, your smarts, the wit about yourself. If people know that you're witty, you're smart, you're intellectual, then they'll always be trying to draw that from you because you have it. But the beauty of that is you're going to draw a line on that too. I will only do so much. I will only give so much intellect to this. I won't give everything. You know, so if you go into situations, relationships, friendships, whatever, business, with that in mind, you can never be used. Because it's like, well, I knew that I was going to be asked of. I just drew the line where I was going to stop giving okay so you can never be used if you look at things in that dynamic and the Aquarius is very dynamic so you're always getting people pulling and drawing from you so just always have uh, your boundaries up uh, people feel used when they don't have boundaries they just keep giving but you know so so you know that's that's, that's all that's about all right let's get out of here let's see um what is the outcome here in some relationship where there's a lot going on somebody may express their emotions to you you guys may reconcile and move forward and go to the next level here especially if you're dealing with a fixed sign aries excuse me i did not mean to say aries but okay aries came out aquarius taurus leo and scorpio it's like somebody has not expressed themselves to you you know express the, the love to you and they might do this so that you guys can move forward reconcile if somebody is definitely longing for you you know one more card for the Aquarius in the near future. If you have that for them, Spirit, let's see. Okay, and they do, yeah. Somebody's going to take the lead here because they want expansion, growth with you, or they see this with you. Um, 
It could be a business here also, a business opportunity that you are involved in. It looks like it's going to have expansion and growth. Expansion. You're going to get one more of that thing that you just bought. I don't know where it's coming from, Aquarius, but take it. All right. So if you feel that way, so into the reading. You know, if you want this to happen to you, um, you can always make a donation. You could buy me a coffee if you're feeling moved to do so. You can go over to the website and book your own reading there. Go to the community tab here on YouTube, get a discount code, and then head over to the website. You can also um, catch me live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night at 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time where I ask, where I answer questions. You ask, I answer, right? And I do a collective reading. Um, that's what I have for you, Aquarius. Many blessings to you. Take care. Okay, so whoever listened to the end is going to get this card. I have one more card for you. Alright, what do we have for the Aquarius? Oh, something is happening within the next few weeks, Aquarius. Okay. Somebody wants you to choose a new direction. Maybe you're going the other way. They want you to turn around. That's what I have for you, Aquarius. Many blessings to you. Again, take care. Yeah, somebody wants to rebuild and work on it. They don't want you to leave. All right, bye, Aquarius.